Up next we have Taylor. She is a senior this year and she enjoys photography, music, and reading. Let's welcome Taylor. Sweetness by Stephen Dunn. Just when it has seemed I couldn't bear one more friend waking with a tumor, one more maniac with a perfect reason, often a sweetness has come and changed nothing in the world except the way I stumbled through it. For a while, lost in the ignorance of loving someone or something, the world shrunk to mouth size, hand size, and never seeming small. I acknowledge there is no sweetness that doesn't leave a stain. No sweetness that's ever sufficiently sweet. Tonight, a friend called to say his lover was killed in a car he was driving. His voice was low and guttural. He repeated what he needed to repeat, and I repeated the one or two words we have for such grief until we were speaking only in tones. Often, a sweetness comes as if on loan, stays just long enough to make sense of what it means to be alive, then returns to its dark source. As for me, I don't care where it's been or what bitter road it's traveled to come so far, to taste so good. Thank you. Taylor plans to attend school next year and pursue studying theater. Poetry can be so personal to someone at times and so universal to others. Let's welcome Taylor. Time does not bring relief. You all have lied. By Edna St. Vincent Millay. Time does not bring relief. You all have lied. Who told me time would ease me of my pain? I miss him in the weeping of the rain. I want him at the shrinking of the tide. The old snows melt from every mountainside, and last year's leaves are smoke in every lane. But last year's bitter loving must remain heaped on my heart, and my old thoughts abide. There are a hundred Places where I fear to go, so with his memory they brim. And entering with relief some quiet place where never fell his foot nor shone his face, I say there is no memory of him here. And so stand stricken, so remembering him, 